Hi everyone, um, thank you for coming back to my channel. Um, I don't know what I'm actually going to be doing today. Um, I've got a lot of demoulding to do, um, some posting, but I am going to be making some more coasters, obviously. Um, but yeah, we'll just go through the day. And like I said, I have literally no idea what I'm doing. Just come back into the studio. And obviously it's a mess, so I'm going to have to tidy it up. So. So over the weekend, me and Joanna made these beautiful sage colour coasters and they're actually for a friend. Um, but I just, I just love this colour. Like we've made it out of a deep green and then all you do is add some white to it. And I just think that is really, really nice. And the way it's come out with the effect with the lines, I think that's really, really cute. So I'm just going to demold the rest of them now. Look how amazing they are. So I've got to still colour the edges and give them a sand down because some of them still got a bit of resin on them still. So what I'll do is just sand them down. Um, but yeah, I really love this colour. And I love how they're silver as well in the middle instead of using the gold flakes. I don't know whether I prefer the silver or gold actually. But I think they look really really cool so made a whole load over the weekend as well so we've got some beautiful green color ones and then also some of our normal black and gold ones but i'm just going to take a quick video of me demolding the rest of them all because it takes forever <laughs> so i'm gonna have a really busy evening today as i've got to paint all of these i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six coasters to paint tonight and that's going to take forever because it takes about three or four coats sometimes but look how cool that looks i don't know why i get so excited over things <laughs> like this but this is me and my coasters with any leftover resin when we're making like coasters or seven boards or anything we often make uh kind of like bookmarks or extra snowflakes but recently i've been popping them all into these little heart shaped molds and then making this kind of almost like little confetti pieces so they're just little heart shapes used and i just use them for like orders just adding little touches in i think that's quite cute but if anyone has any other ideas i have a cup full of them and i don't know if i can make something with them like maybe canvas and then put them on a canvas I don't know. And then also we make some bookmarks as well. So this one here, made out of that tan colour. And then we had a really funny colour that we actually had never come across before. And it almost looked like blood when we were mixing it together, but it's come out like a funny green red. I'm not sure on that one. Don't know if I like that colour. Um, and then Joe has just made some snowflakes i think my tree is going to be covered in these snowflakes i've got so many i've had a few people order like the classic red and green colors um but nothing garish like pink or anything so if you want to order any pink ones i've got thousands of them these are the little ones that we've made recently and then just one last bookmark and i add some tassels to the ends of the bookmark as well. Before I start any resin work today, I actually ran out of these circular acrylic keyring molds. I'll pop a link below uh, to show you where I get them from, but you get your tassel colours, some keyring, and then you get these little hooks that you attach with just some pliers, and then these acrylic circles as well. And then you just peel off the uh like the film on both sides to add your vinyl stickers and also some paint so i'm just going to finish off the key rings that i started over the re weekend
So these are some I made over the weekend, so I'm just going to add the tassels and the key rings to them. And here is the final look. So I love how we've got different colour blue tassels. So these are going to look really cute for the customer when the other ones are dry. But here are the final ones, A and J. Over the weekend, you saw me make these lovely drinking jars with personalised names on them. So I'm going to package these up today. So I've got, unfortunately, where I go and get my tissue paper, they did not have any white or pink. So we're going to use blue today, but I think that's fine. So I make sure that they are secure in some bubble wrap. And then what I'm going to do is just basically roll it up in the tissue paper like so. Place a sticker to secure them. I print my own stickers as well, but that will be another YouTube video on how I make them. Stick it down and then as neatly as you can, secure the bottom with another sticker. If you can peel it off, like so, secure it on. And then this bit, I normally just bunch up, like, like that, because the straw's in there. So I do the other one, which is a nice gold colour, with the name Eloise on there. Again, pop it in some bubble wrap to secure it, and then roll, 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 and then try not to rip it like you have, I have. Secure the sticker. Bottom. like that um, so obviously I can't fit those into a normal bubbled envelope so I'm actually going to pop it in one of my boxes so I'm going to pop them in sideways like this but I'm also going to give this lovely customer one of our bookmarks and I thought why not give her a blue one to match the tissue paper so I'm packaging it up in this is actually a pick and mix sweet bag that I found. I do weddings and events and I just found I had some spare so I'm going to use them. It also matches the box quite nicely. So I'm going to secure that in there and then pop in one of our thank you cards. Oh goodness me, I haven't even opened these up yet. I get these off of Canva. However, what I have done in the past is actually order off of free prints because you only pay for postage. And I think you get about, I think it's 35 for like £2 something. So that's another little business tip. But pop that in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some bits to just cover it so it doesn't roll around. Save any packaging that I get um, from orders that I've ordered. And then I use them in my own orders. So I'm just going to put some of this bubble packaging in. I can just tear these off. And once I feel like it's secure, I'm going to pop some tissue paper on top to make it a little bit more pretty, tuck it in, and I'm just going to add a sticker so they know exactly what it is, like that, and then just pop it in, and what's good about these boxes as well is that it comes with a sticky 
part here that I can stick down and then the customer can just rip this off and open like a normal box. I'm going to add the address on there now. But yeah, that is how I pack some of our drinking jars. Next we have this lovely wine butler going out to a customer today. Um, so I'm just going to wrap it up in some tissue paper. Add a little sticker. I go through these stickers like there's no tomorrow. So I'm glad I can make them myself and I don't have to order anything in for it. And then just add another sticker there. Like I mentioned before, I don't get rid of any packaging that I have. So this is just like from an old Amazon order. So I know it doesn't look pleasant, but it's just gonna help secure the wine holder a bit more whilst I pop it in this bubbled envelope. And then just add one of my thank you cards and there we go it's a bit more secure with that cardboard in and that is ready to go so here i'm just um packaging up a decorative tray um in some tissue paper and those peanuts as well i'm actually going to use a box that was given to me like via an order that i had and then i'm just going to fill the box up with lots of nuggets and little shreds of paper so the decorative tray doesn't really move um and then i'm just gonna make sure that everything's secure with some sellotape but i also do get some parcel uh tape later on but i just didn't film that just make sure everything's secure um, so there's not a lot of movement in the box. So now I've just had a look at the orders that I need to make today and I've just set up my table of coaster moulds. Um, uh, so I'm going to start making 24 coasters in the A gate shape and then six coasters in the round shape and I'm going to do some floral ones today. It's a cold day again. Um, I've, so I've popped my resin in a lukewarm bath. Um, and I've had the temperature up quite a lot today. It's probably about 22 degrees in the home, which is good for setting the resin and it will cure a lot faster as well once the resin's heated up. And it's just so much easier to pour because it comes a bit thinner than usual. So yeah. As the resin's actually warming up, I just wanted to quickly say thank you so much for 400 sales on Etsy. I'm literally over the moon by that. I just can't believe that I've, I've got it. So thank you so much to everyone that's ordered. And please, please, please tag me in all your photos on Instagram and Facebook. Um, and if you could just leave a little review on Etsy as it helps me bump me up to some tops of the pages. Um, so that'd be really great. Thank you. So here I'm just mixing part A and part B together and then giving it a good mix for about five minutes so all the air bubbles disappear and also the cloudiness has gone. Ensuring that you do five minutes it just means that the two parts mix together just so thoroughly because if you don't it just it just doesn't set. Now part B going in and you can see it already forming together which is good. Now I've just put the part A and part B into this little big beaker once mixed and then I'm adding a couple of spoonfuls of pink mica powder and then I'm going to give that a quick stir. I'm just going to pour the pink resin into the moulds. Trying to spread them out as evenly as possible. And then once I've poured, I just use a standard heat gun to give them a blast. Some of 
of these little mineral flakes into the middle. Now for this next colour, this customer has ordered a light grey colour with a bit of pink in the middle. Um, so what I'm doing here is just adding black and white mica to this pot of resin and then going to give it a bit of a mix. Hopefully we can create a sort of a light, light grey colour. So I'm just going to add a bit of pink to the middle. And then add the grey. Now I'm just going to add a bit of clear to the top so it's quite similar how we make our black and gold ones. different to what I normally do but I'm hoping by the end of this video we can see kind of what they're gonna turn out to be like. I've just taken off my mask quickly because I can't breathe sometimes so I'm just gonna go over to my board and mark off what I've done today so I have done what have I done I don't know some pink ones and also some of the grey ones as well with the pink and gold. So as you can see, I've just made a serving board to match those uh, grey and pink coasters. Um, so I'm going to let it harden a little bit and then add the gold flakes in um, when it's a little bit more tacky. The grey and pink ones, and I think it's worked really well actually, how the pink has just sunk into the middle of the grey. But you can still slightly see the little tinge of pink in. A little tip with this serving board, you're going to get drops, so why not add a little mould underneath it just to catch those drips and then you can make something totally different with it the finished serving board so I will have to sand the edges I've just added the gold flakes and they match the coasters pretty good I also made a little key uh, a bookmark with the leftover the resin now at my local post office where I'm just going to send a couple of parcels off um, and then I'm going to head back home and just basically send all the customers order like a dispatch email um so you should over you should get them in about two to five days but because it's christmas time and royal mail you just never know um but yeah i'm gonna go and pop these to the post office at least it's it's not too many today normally i take about hundreds and they absolutely hate me in that um so they might be pleasantly surprised today So I've just got back home, putting a bit of the Pussycat Dolls on and I'm going to paint the rest of these coasters. So I've got some silver ones to do and also just finish off these gold edges of the ones that I've already kind of painted. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, please let me know if you want to see anything else. Uh, just drop a comment down below. Um, and yeah, just make sure you like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you very much guys. See you guys soon.